beauty is in the eye of the beholder. This is a quote or an idiom by Margaret Hungerford. It is one of my favorite quotes simply because it means beauty is subjective. When I was growing up, I wanted to be cool. I wanted to be that it girl. I wanted to fit into society. I wanted to be a part of a, gr of a group. As I got older, I realized I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to be down. I don't want to be that girl. In fact, I wanted to be me. I wanted to be original. I wanted to be Kishara. Hello everyone, my name is Kishara Rivas. In this generation, I realized excuse me, I never realized how important society plays in one's life. The problem with that is that you aren't being you. You're being what society wants you to be. Nikon Afifa of the Voices of Youth mentions, for one, what society considers as beautiful for a female is a slender fit body, long hair, acne free skin, and really, the list will go on. I can vouch for that. When people see me, they see a young African American female. Yeah, of course. But they also see a young African American female. She has dark hair. What type of texture is this, they say. They want to feel it. They want to touch it. Oh, it looks so dry. Oh, it looks so brittle. And after a while, those things started to get to me. So, of course, I conformed to society. And I wanted long hair now. So, do you know what I did? I got a perm. And for those of you who do not know what a perm is, it's a chemical processing that you do on your hair that makes your hair long and straight. And after I did it, of course I felt great because now I'm a part of society. Society said this was right and I did it, so now I'm cool. No, I just lost my identity, my true identity. According to author Tamima Zucker of the Huffington Post, society's standards of beauty will get old. But being comfortable with yourself never will. So what do you do when you find yourself in a predicament like I did? You do the complete opposite. You don't conform to society's standards. You deviate from society's standards. I realize I don't need long hair. I don't need society backing me up. What is that going to do for me? So I decided to go natural. Not only with my hair, but the way I dress, the way I act, the way I think. So natural hair isn't in. I don't care. I will rock an afro any day, anyhow. Short shorts are in. No thanks. I'll pass. I'm going to wear long jeans or shorts that go up to my knee. Corey Shamley from Odessi states, Society always doesn't always view that way. They don't want us to do anything that will draw attention to ourselves. Imagine looking in the mirror and seeing yourself for what God made you. Imagine walking outside of your house whether you have wavy hair, short hair, thick kinky hair like myself, and someone comes up to you and you said and says, excuse me, you are so beautiful. You don't have any makeup on to enhance your beauty. You don't have any extensions on to make your hair look longer or fuller. But you are doing you. And you start to think to yourself, wow. I don't need makeup. I don't need extensions. All I needed 
was to walk outside and realize that I am beautiful the way that I am. Or, fellas, I am handsome the way I am. I'm not saying that we don't need to treat ourselves. Of course it's great to get your nails done, pamper yourself, get your hair done, put makeup on here and there, or get a haircut, get a lineup, treat myself, get my nails done. It's a beautiful thing. But don't let society turn you into something that you're not. Don't let society turn you fake. According to a Yale student in her article, people have chased the ideal look for centuries. Alas, this look comes and goes as trends and generations do. Trends, generations are all a fad. One minute something is in and the next minute it's out. Don't get caught up in what society says is right. Have your own opinion. Do what you feel is right. Don't do it because, oh, society says iPhones are in. If you want an Android, get an Android. Who needs iPhones? Because it's right? I'll pass. If you want to do it, do it. All in all, society cannot control you. Society will, society, excuse me, will not control you. You shouldn't let society control you. Do what you feel is right. If you want to be natural, be natural. Embrace your look for who you are. Own your identity and strut yourself. Society won't do anything but dictate what they think is right. It isn't about they. It's about me. It's about you. It's about we. I hope that you all take from this that you don't need to follow suit. Be yourself. Always remember, I am a leader. I am never a follower. Once again, my name is Kishara Rivas and I thank you all for listening.